All right, so what you want to do is we want to come and use the cursor to come down here to get a calculator screen. And what that does is this is a calculator document. Now to add fractions, there's this little symbol here that has like a box over a box. So if I hit box over a box, um, I can put in the first one is fraction. Okay, so if I wanted to add, um, I'm going to put in like, I think the first one is five and what was it? Two over five. Yeah. So, whoops. I'm going to change this to two over five and then I'm going to add five to that. So I'm going to say five and two fifths. I'm doing that on purpose because I'm recording it. Oh, so five if I, I got to be careful, and I show you this on purpose, I don't, I, knew, I want it to be five plus two fifths. So if I just write five and two fifths, it multiplies it and gives me two. So when I enter this in, one thing that you should do. Wait. What? It, it's just five and two fifths minus I know. All right, let me, let me help you. So, so what we want to do then is I want to. Um, I want to start parentheses first, okay, and then enter five, and then enter in my two fifths. But I'm going to put a plus sign between them, and then enter my two fifths. So in other words, in, in the it, it's not cooperating with me, but I'm going to put five plus um, two fifths because that's what really five and two fifths is. Then I'm going to say minus. Then I'm going to open parentheses again. And what's what are we subtracting? One and what was the fraction? Oops, I screwed up. It's one and one uh, fifth. Okay. So the and I got to add these two together like that. That's how you have to enter it in the calculator. Because it's one and one fifth. And what I'm really saying is I'm going to take five and two fifths, then I'm going to subtract one and one fifth from that. Now, when I hit enter, it's going to give it to me as a fraction, but the fraction that they give me is what we call an improper fraction. If I want to switch that back to a, a proper fraction, I could take this number and then I go to menu and then you come down to, I think it's number. And then it says fraction tools. And then proper fraction. So if I choose proper fraction, and then I enter in 21, 21, whoops, I forgot to put this in there. 21 over 5. And then hit enter, it'll say 4 and 1 fifth, which is the answer. Does that make sense? Yeah. And you could, you could take like this. You could copy this and put that in. In other words, I could say uh, menu number, go down to fraction, to fraction tools, put proper fraction, and then you could take this whole thing here and insert that in there. And then it'll do all the math and they give it back to you. Does that make sense? That's how you do it on the calculator. But it's really not that hard though. You could you could just say like 5 minus 1, that's 4. And then you could say um, 2 over 5 minus um, 1 over 5, and that would give you the 1 fifth, so you'd be one, 4 and 1 fifth. But sometimes, sometimes you have to borrow from the whole numbers and stuff. 